Hey, what is up guys? You're watching Epic Pokemon TCG. In today's video, guys, what I have for you, we're going to be taking a look at what you can build if you are to take two of these Zamazenta theme decks and combine them. So I already did the same concept with Zacian, so if you guys want to check that video out, that'll be the end card of this video. But the same glaring issues that kind of popped up with the Zacian deck actually popped up with this one. Uh, there is not a lot to work with. They just kind of went, hey, here's the legendaries and some stuff that kind of goes along with them. So have fun. Now, I feel like they're still pretty good starting points. Obviously, you just want to get in the game. I mean, if you like the Legendary from Sword and Shield, I think they're really cool. So that'd be a nice start if you just get to play with something you like right off the bat. Uh, as far as cards I would recommend for this deck, uh, obviously, Boss's Order. It's a great card that just came out in Rebel Clash. Uh, Cynthia could be really good. Or just like another card that can just maybe Marnie if you can't get your hands on Cynthia or depending on when you're watching this video, uh, you know, depending on if Cynthia is rotated out or not. Uh, that could be really good. Uh, Dusk Ball could be amazing in this deck just because of Metal Saucer. And then Evolution Incense is a more consistent searching card depending on if you get the, you know, evolutions and such in here. So there's definitely some routes you guys can go. Uh, you can add Galarian Berserker from the base Sword and Shield set if you want to have like a higher damage output. Uh, there is Copper Jaw, VMAX or whatever the big elephant thing is. That's a metal attacker you guys can work with there as well. And then the Zamazenta and Zacian Tens, obviously, uh, those will have the V cards that like are just stronger versions of these cards too if you guys want to keep kind of like the legendary concept to it. So there's a lot of stuff you guys can do with this. I mean, uh, the cool thing about these two decks is that the reason why they're really kind of unique and fun is that there's so much stuff you can take out and put into the deck. That's just really nice. So, yeah, I mean, those are just some cards that I thought of that would be kind of cool. Uh, if you're just starting off or if you're thinking about purchasing one of the decks, I, I say go for it. I mean, uh, really, as far as when it comes to picking like what deck you want to just start with, you know, you can obviously just kind of pick your favorite Pokemon, pick a strategy, or just kind of see what's in them, you know. Uh, these obviously come with prof uh, Professor's Research, Metal Saucer, and Sonya, so yeah, pretty good starts. So, we're going to go ahead and hop right into it here. Take a look at Zamazenta here first. Now, it's very similar to Zacian as far as the damage output and the energy count. Its first attack is Guard Press. It does 30, and during your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 20 less damage from attacks. I'm not sure why it wouldn't be 30. I don't know why that bothers me, but it does. And then Power Rush for 120, flip a coin of tails. During your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack. So that's why I actually upped it to three switch in this deck is because that whole you can't attack thing is just going to become really awkward. Uh, it only has 120 HP, but I figured, hey, I might as well try to play around with the strategy of if you flip a tails, you know, then you can attack. You can at least have a switch so you can get out of that. So uh, we're going to run four Zamazenta because obviously it's, you know, it's, it's pretty much the best card in here. Uh, the next card we're going to take a look at is going to be Ferrothorn. Now, just like, what was it, Probo Pass in the Zacian deck, this is something you can take out for something better. Uh, it has Triple Smash for 30 flip, or thirty times, flip three coins, and stack this 30 damage for each heads. And then Energy Slap for 100. You may move all energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. This could be really good if you have three energy on it, and you know it's about to get knocked out next turn. You can just hit something for 100, move those energy to one of your bench, and then have something to promote with three energy next turn so that way you can attack. So that could be really good. Uh, so we're going to run a 2-2 line. I didn't really want to put too many in here. Uh, it was between the Corviknight line and the Ferrothorn, and I was like, why not? We'll, we'll try out the Corviknight. So if you want to take out like a 1-1-1 line of the Corviknight and just add to the Derulodon and the Ferro Seed, you definitely can. It just really depends on what cards you think are a little better. Now, obviously, I kind of forgot to mention this in the Zacian deck, uh, and I'm going to mention it here. Uh, I am only using cards from the theme deck. Uh, people have confused that whole process in the past. I have seen comments of people going, why don't you play this in that deck? And I'm like, okay, apparently you guys are just missing the title completely. Anyway, so that's what you guys can do there. Um, or, you know, hey, if you pulled something really good from Rebel Clash or just something out of your packs, you know, you want to take those out and put, put those in there, you definitely can. The deck is yours. This is just kind of a, this is what you can build if you got two of them type of thing. So next up, we're going to take a look at Darulodon. I am hoping at some point they print a really good version of this Pokemon, like Darulodon VMAX, and it's amazing because I really like Darulodon. I have one in my game, and I use it, and it's such a cool Pokemon. But it has Metal Sharpener for 30, and you attach a Metal Energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. So that's why I said you guys can definitely drop a 1-1-1 line of Corviknight. Uh, I really wanted to go with 4 Darulodon, but like last second I dropped the Darulodon for a switch. I don't know if that was the right call, but... I just felt like having the Zamazenta and it not being able to attack and you just have to like burn two energy. I guess you can retreat into Darulodon and then Metal Sharpener, one of the energy you, you know, 
had to pay to retreat and put it back on there. But Metal Sharpener is just a really solid attack. I kind of wish this card was in both of the theme decks. I feel like it's just a... It, it's it's so good in these. I mean, I don't, under, I don't understand why you wouldn't have... Especially the Zacian deck, because Zacian makes you discard energy. This just kind of seems like a given. Like, I don't know. And then it also has Power Beam for 110. But really, Metal Sharpener is going to be the main attack you're going to use with this. And then next up, we have a 3-3-3 line of my favorite Pokemon currently from Sword and Shield, which is Corviknight. I love Corviknight, and it's another card that I hope in the future uh, they do print a really good version of. I apologize. I had to adjust my uh, headset here. There we go. It's getting a little uncomfortable for some reason. Okay. So it's got Peck for 50, and then it has Iron Wings for 130. You may dis or discard two energy from this Pokemon if you do during your opponent's next turn. This Pokemon takes 100 less damage from attacks. So, yeah, okay. I I get why it's in here. Again, I just feel like they could have done a little better with these two theme decks. Because I just I feel like they could have done something. I, I don't know. I, maybe I'm too I'm being too nitpicky and comparing this too much to Dragon Ball Super and Yu-Gi-Oh's uh, structure decks, starter decks, theme decks, whatever you want to call them. But, like I said, guys, you can definitely drop a line of this, add a Forge Ruladon, and then go with a 3-3 line of Ferrothorn if you really want to. Uh, you can try that out. That is definitely an option. So, that's going to do it for the Pokemon. Pretty straightforward. Again, not too much to work with. As for supporters, though, we have four Professor's Research. You discard your hand and draw seven. Absolutely amazing card. And it's awesome that they're including these into the decks. So, four of those. And then we have four Sonya. This card is really good. Brand new out of Rebel Clash. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon or up to two basic energy cards. Reveal them and put them in your hand. Then you shuffle your deck. So that essentially means, depending on if you have a couple energy in your hand, you can grab a Zamazenta and a Rookity. Or you can grab like a Rookity and a Druladon, a Pharisee. Or you can grab like a Druladon and an Energy. It just really depends on what you need at the current point. Or you can just grab two energy. That's really, it's up to you. Uh, something else you could do if you have Dust Ball is you can Sonya and grab like a Pokemon Energy, then Dusk Ball away the Energy, Metal Saucer, or just get ready to Druladon it on there. I mean, there's Dust Ball is a really good card. I would highly recommend having it in this deck. It's a little more consistent than Great Ball. We'll be taking a look at that here in a second. But uh, just getting Energy in the discard pile with there being Metal Saucer and Druladon in here is just really good. And that's another thing with Professor's Research is you can pitch Metal Energy and be able to attach those from your discard pile. So that's really nice. Okay. Next up, we have Hop. I said how in the last video, the Zacian one, and it bugged me. So, uh, Hop. So, we have four Hop in here. Uh, you can definitely drop this for a Marnie or a Cynthia. Like I said, it just really depends on when you're watching this video and does, you know, whatever is legal. Um, but, yeah, you draw three cards. Uh, there is definitely way better supporters than that. Same goes with Pokey Kid. This card, I... 1000% recommend you you, yeah, you just completely drop it for like Dusk Ball or Evolution Incense. Uh, because this card does the exact same thing as the Dusk Ball and the Evolution Incense, except it's like you can grab anything, you don't really have to pay a cost. But at the same time, it takes up your supporter for the turn. So it's just, it makes more sense to run the trainers over, or I mean the items over this card because it's just, I don't know. Pokey Kid's good, but there's just way better options out there. I already mentioned that there is three switch in here, just that way, if you do get a Tails with your Zamazenta, you know, you can just get it out of the active spot. Uh, then we have four Metal Saucer, attach a Metal Energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Metal Pokemon. So, you cannot attach to Corvusquire or Rookity, but you can attach to Corviknight. I don't know why in the world an Unpheasant was in the Zacian deck, <laughs> but... Yeah, uh, so Metal Saucer can attach to Corviknight, Druladon, your Ferroseed, and your Ferrothorn, along with your Zamazenta, obviously. So that's really nice there from the discard pile. And then we have four Great Ball. You look at the top seven cards of your deck, and you'll reveal a Pokemon you find there and put it in your hand. Uh, this, again, this is a card you guys can drop for one of the Evolution Incense or the Dusk Ball, or you guys can keep it in if you really like the card. It just depends on your personal preference. But we're going to round it out with 15 Metal Energy. So there's the deck, guys. Very, very straightforward. And honestly, like, there's not a lot of work. Like, yeah, there's just not a lot to work with. But there's definitely options out there for what you can throw in this deck and kind of make it your own. And now I'm going to be going through the process of trying to find a gameplay to show you guys how to play this deck. So I'll see you guys there. Alrighty, so it looks like we're going up against a guy with a bunch of letters and a number in his name. So hopefully this goes better than the Zacian battles did because it took a hot minute to get the two that I actually got in that video because I just kept running into just decks that were not kind to me. <laughs> 
So obviously with this deck, guys, you're not going to have the most competitive thing right off the bat. But at the same time, it's something, you know, it's a starting point, you know, and it's something to kind of let you learn the game, get into it. And uh, if you're a parent, you know, wanting to buy some cards for your kids, you know, it's a pre-constructed deck. So they have something already that, you know, they can play with and then uh, go to leagues and, you know, get some additional cards, you know, depending on like, well, obviously whenever the country opens back up, but you guys get what I'm trying to say. You know, it's, it's something to play with, you know, or if you're just at home and you're trying to find something to do, uh, this is a really good thing to just kind of sit down, play some Pokemon, have some fun, you know. Yeah, for a second there, I just forgot the world shut down. Jesus. Go to your league, get COVID-19. <laughs> Actually, I don't even think there's leagues going on. But yeah, so I mean, it's, it's a good starting point. So my opponent is playing some type of grass decks. We see, oh, Caterpie. I love you. Oh, I don't want to knock this out. Okay, yeah, evolve it. Okay, so we see some type of grass deck. I thought I was playing against a Venomoth deck, but it just seems like it's a grass deck. It could just be a special conditions type of deck. Let's have to see there. So I'm going to... Uh, let's actually just go ahead and Sonya, and we will grab a Feral Seed since we already have the Feral Thorn in our hand. And then obviously we're going to grab a Zamazenta just to get the main focus out early. So we're going to play those two down. Now we're going to Great Ball. See what we can grab here. And we have a Corvin Knight. Unfortunately, we do not have Rookity or Corva Squire in our hand. And the next turn we have Howl. And then hopefully we can find some way to get our energy in the discard pile. Um, we don't really have a means to do that. So that's unfortunate. So that's why I just can't stress how good Dusk Ball would be in this deck. Just being able to pitch, you know, just pitch a card. You know, it'd be a metal energy. And then you have a target in your discard pile, which is just really nice. And then the Zacian and the Zamazenta Vs, those are so good. And with the 10s, you know, when those come out, you know, you can get your kid like this theme deck and then get them like the, the 10 that matches along with it, you know, then they get like some packs to work with and they get like a cool card to throw on their theme deck, you know. So I mean, it, it's definitely, it's really cool. Uh, I like doing these videos because I just, you know, if I can help someone out who's trying to get in the game, you know, show them a little bit, uh, I'm definitely going to do that. Okay, so Panic Poison, it does zero... I, for some reason, resist grass. That's so odd to see on a metal Pokemon. But, okay. So, I take 10 there. Alrighty. So, you just do a bunch of stuff here. Active Pokemon. Or po Pokemon? Jesus. Okay. So, I top deck the Switch. Wow. I like it. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and play that down. We're going to Howl first to see what... Yeah, what we can, I said how. I knew I would do it at some point. So we're going to hop there to see what we can get. I, I, I don't know how many times I've probably said how in the last video. All right, so we're going to go ahead and play that down. And I really want to attack, but honestly, I just... Yeah, I wanted to attack with Darulodon as long as possible, but it's fine. So now we're going to Ferrothorn, see if we can at least get one hit. Okay, okay. Ooh, ooh, -hoo. starting that luck off early. Now we're not going to hit any of the rest of the game. So, yeah, my opponent is playing something pretty, pretty cool. It's pretty fun, I guess. So we see a couple Oddish. We see a Venonat, a Butterfree, and he's just going to Panic Poison me again. So now, if I can pull another Switch, that'd be great, but I highly doubt it. All right. So I lost the burn. That's good. Okay, so we're going to hop here for three cards. And then let's go ahead and Great Ball. And we actually got the Corvus Squire. So we can start getting that set up if we really want to. So let's see. So you do 130. And unfortunately, Butterfree has 140. So um, I can't one-shot a Butterfree, which is pretty sad. But we can work with it here. Um, we can just go ahead and play that down. And I am just going to go for it. We're going to be flipping a lot of coins here. Oh, unfortunately, we did miss there. So we're going to have to flip to just attack in general and then flip to do damage. That is unfortunate. <laughs> that is so unfortunate. All right, so he got a Professor's Research. Let's see what he had stowed away in his hand. So he had a Rare Candy, two Rare Candies, and an Energy Retrieval. All right, so we see Venomoth coming down with the Assassin Flight. He's going to throw Energy down onto that. And does this actually... Wow, that resists grass too. That's so weird to see on a metal Pokemon. I don't know why. That's just so weird to see it resist grass. Okay. So, hope you guys are all staying safe. Hope you guys are staying uh, healthy out there in the world. I know everything going on is kind of crazy. And it has definitely affected me. 
uh, in multiple ways. So he's going to hit my poor Darulodon for 90. Goodness. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and evolve into Corvus Squire. I do not want to play that Professor's Research because I don't want to ditch two Metal Saucers. So we're going to go ahead and grab a Darulodon. Have that uh, energy acceleration back. Okay. Hmm. If only I had an energy, this would be a little better. Ah, oh, man. I have options, but, like, I'm just short damage. So I guess what I can do is I can switch into Corviknight, I guess, and then just hit for 50. There we go. So he's got 10 damage left on that. And unfortunately, in this matchup, I'm just kind of falling short with my numbers. And then I'm having to fight past the special conditions here, but... Yeah, let's see. All right, so now he's going to promote the Butterfree, hit me with a special condition, retreat, pick something off for 90. That's very annoying. Okay, so we got Roxy coming in here. Discarding a pair. So yeah, my opponent just has like a special condition type of deck. And we see a Netball, really good card, especially for grass decks. Grab a basic or you can just grab like a free energy. Curious what you guys have been doing in quarantine, or if you're essential, props to you for going out there in this crazy mess. But uh, I have been just kind of playing some video games and watching YouTube, taking it easy. I've been playing my Switch a lot lately. Alrighty. The confusion is what's annoying. Okay, so my burn's still on. Uh, let's see. How do I want to go about this? How do I want to go about this? I suppose I can retreat this. So we're going to retreat, bring you up. So that way I can get past the special condition nonsense. Now we can actually metal saucer both of our energy onto our Zamazenta. Just because I want to power it up. Just because it's, you know, it's awesome. <laughs> And then we can actually just go ahead and play down one more. And we can Professor's Research, getting ourselves a fresh hand of seven to work with. And we actually got two more Metal Saucers. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to go for the Triple Smash here. Oh, short again. Man, we are short damage a lot in this matchup, guys. Okay. So this is obviously <laughs> just an annoying match because I'm short damage here. Panic Spores. Man, this deck he has going on is ridiculous. Of course he plays Bug Catcher. It just, it just makes too much sense. Okay, so we have Great Ball, and that's going to grab another Venonat. So it's a it's a cool strategy. I mean, you can hit with Butterfree and then come up and just pick something off for 90. I obviously have a lot of targets on the field right now. And that Butterfree having 140. <laughs> just having that 140. It's so annoying. Okay, so I can actually come up here and hit with my Zamazenta if I really want to. Yeah, okay. Well, let's see. Let's take a look at what's in my discard. So we only have one. And you have, let's see. Yeah, we'll just do that, actually. We'll just do that. And we will throw down an energy here. And let's go ahead and Great Ball, because why not? Grab a Corviknight. And then we will... I just messed up. Oh my god, I just messed up. I messed up so bad. <laughs> what are you doing, Dylan? What are you doing, Dylan? Dylan, what was that, bro? Dylan! Dylan, what was that, man? Oh, Jesus. Dylan, you moron. Oh, Dylan, you moron. My bad, guys. My bad. Wow, I did not just do that. I don't know what I was thinking there. I had the knockout. I had the knockout. It's like, literally right there. I had it, too. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. <laughs> Woo, man. All right. So that was embarrassing. Um, 
That was so embarrassing. Okay. Well, hopefully we can get past that stupid play there. Um, if not, we're in trouble. We're going to have to go for it, guys. We're going to have to just swing. All right. So, obviously, uh, we could have done that last turn. I could have just attached to the active and then attacked and got my energy out of the discard pile. But instead, uh, we're letting him pick something off for 90. Meanwhile, yeah, okay, that's that's annoying. <laughs> that's annoying. All right, so Deruladon uh, is going to go down just because of the fact that he has Parasect and it's poison. And there is Volplume, who is going to get the heal. This is just not my matchup here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so he's going to pick something off for 90. My guess, it's probably going to be Deruladon, just to kind of finish that off. Or he's going to soften something up. It just really depends. What is he going to hit? Yeah, so Deruladon's going to go down. I'm unfortunately going to be uh, just kind of behind here. So there is the 10. There's the... Yeah. Okay. Well, we're in quite the predicament now, aren't we? Okay, so I'm going to bring that up to the active spot. I'm going to bench these two. Let's go ahead and attach to the active here. And we're going to play that down. I suppose I can just go ahead and get this ready. And so we have all four Metal Saucer in the discard pile. That's very unfortunate. And you have 40 damage. Let's see, man. I didn't want to bring that up just because of the fact of, you know, if it gets hit by a special condition, it's just, you know, it's just kind of stuck there. So I'm going to hope I don't have flip a tails here. If I do, that's going to suck. Okay, so we're good. I would have promoted the Corviknight and just did Peck, but if it gets hit by a special condition and I don't draw into a switch or I can't get it out of the active spot, just some kind of crazy shenanigans, it's just going to be a free prize for my opponent. So that's why I just kind of kept that there. All right, so you do 180. Holy crap. All righty. <laughs> well then. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and promote Corviknight. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach here. And let's take a look here. I'm just going to go ahead and Professor's Research. Why not? Why not? That. And now I'm going to Iron Wings. 130. And yes, I'm going to discard. Just, you know, just kind of conserve a little bit there. So now hopefully this next turn goes my way. Fragrant Flower Garden. So he's going to heal up a little bit. That's fine. Unfortunately, I'm out of Metal Saucer, so that's that's just super unfortunate. <laughs> uh, otherwise, I'd be able to hit that thing a little harder. So we got Ear Ringing Bell coming down. And then what does that do? Dust Island. Wow, that's annoying. This deck is annoying. It's very creative, I'll say that. It is taking me to the wire, though. Okay, so I'm burned, and all right. <laughs> Good lord, man. Okay, I, I drew a switch, luckily. Um, so we're going to promote you. Just so, yeah, figure that. Um, let's see what's left in the deck. Is there even, like, anything good in here? All right. So we're gonna hit you for thirty, and this, this like literally, I was just kind of screwed regardless in this matchup. So now he's probably gonna retreat it. Uh, that would be my guess. And or you're gonna do that. That works too. Yeah. So we're gonna heal up a little bit. This is where I would kind of suggest boss's orders again. Uh, obviously, you guys are seeing my damage output is not 
massive. So I think boss's order is being able to just kind of bring stuff up and, you know, hit it would probably be really good. Now I am just kind of regretting that four switch. <laughs> I'm really regretting it. Okay. Let's see. So you've got a 40. Ugh. I mean, I'm just going to go for it. I mean, why the, why the heck not? Um, let's see if we can get it. Oh, we got it. Let's go. <laughs> it ain't a knockout. Oh, Jesus. Why? Okay, this this matchup was annoying. <laughs> oh, this matchup is so annoying. All right, so you guys are seeing that this deck could definitely uh, could definitely use some work. Uh, that and I kind of screwed up at the midpoint of the game. That was kind of embarrassing. But hey, you know what? It's fine. It's okay. Uh, we did some pretty decent uh, damage anyway. But that's why I would just kind of suggest just trying to upgrade the attackers, upgrade, you know, the consistency cards in here. And obviously, you know, there's just there's better ways to um, improve the deck that you don't screw up like I did. <laughs> All right. So we did lose. We, we got molly whopped. I'm going to be completely honest. However, we, we played a pretty annoying deck. So that's that's unfortunate. Okay, now obviously aside from that one little mishap I had during the game, uh, hopefully this gave you a good idea of how to play the deck. Hopefully it gave you an idea of you know what the cards do, gave you some ideas of like what cards you can include into the deck, you know how to improve upon it, and this and that. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to give the video a, th a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And hopefully this video helped you out. But stay safe out there, guys. Uh, you know everything going on in the world. Make sure to take care of yourself and take care of the others around you by, you know, practicing social distancing, wearing a mask, all that good stuff. But uh, much love for me to you. Take care. And I hope you guys have a good day. This is Epic Pokemon TCG signing out. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey.